Hi guys and welcome back. This time I'm going to be introducing you to the Star Wars Stormtrooper all metal model from the great folks at the Metal Earth Company. This is another one of the kits that I've talked about earlier. It comes as flat sheets of metal and this Metal Earth Company puts out about a zillion of these different kinds of kits. They're really amazing as far as the technology that goes in to make them because you're taking flat sheets of metal and making them into 3D objects. This particular one, Stormtrooper, was my very favorite so far. Here's what the sheets look like. They pack in a zillion bits of metal, different parts I should say, and the way you hold them together is you stick the tabs in and either flip them over or twist them. I must admit a couple little places I did use some glue. There's so many parts packed into these sheets that they give you a register of where everything is. Where the directions go, they give you a veritable book. Lots of options. You will need a bunch of different tools, a bunch of different round objects, because once again you're making flat bits of metal into three objects. None of them cost me anything at all. I had them all laying around the house here. So start putting together an assortment of tools. Make sure that you when removing the parts from the backing, never, never, never break them out. Always either use a sharp pair of nippers or a razor knife. And as you remove the stuff from the backing, make sure to mark on the register what you've used and what you haven't used. Now you want to be really careful as you're putting these parts in. Notice how many little holes there are here. It's really easy to get the tabs in the wrong hole and it's a bugger to get them out if you do. So check twice or three times before you start bending the tabs over. And of course all those different round things are used to make all these 3D shapes. It does take practice to get this stuff right, so take your time. And I always mark off on the instructions what I've completed so I know where I am and I don't lose my track. just makes it easier. One of the things I have found is sometimes the tolerances are really close and I like to make the holes a little larger sometimes. It just makes it easier to fit the stuff together. And then before long you start having these small sub-assemblies. What do you do with the small assemblies? Well, you start putting them together and making them into the larger sub-assemblies. And it's just fun to watch this stuff start to de develop into something, starting to look like something. And here we have, oh no, somebody blew up this stormtrooper, all we got left are legs. No, actually it's time to start putting the legs together. Notice the way that I hold the legs in place so I don't have to keep an extra set of hands. And as you start to put these bits and pieces together, think about how they fit. So it's time to start putting the, together the torso and look at all the small little parts that go together to make the torso. It's not time to attach it yet, but I always like to try to test fit things to see how they're going to go together. It always pays to have that little bit of an idea of where things go. And here you can see more of the torso is put together. You just make one little bit, put it on top of another, and next thing you know you got a bunch of stuff. You do need to be very careful about lefts and rights. Fortunately, they have marked a number of the pieces, but you can mix them up. Sometimes also, you're going to want to figure out a better way to do the other side. If you do one side and have a problem, write some notes down, so as you do the other side, it'll be easier. And here we have a bunch of the parts. Notice how it's going together nicely. And one of the things that I had a bit of trouble with is putting in the head mount. It takes a bit of fitting and a little moving around. And this is a good sign. Notice that the backing is getting empty and the directions are getting full of scribbles. That means you're almost done with your kit. I did have a little problem attaching the upper part of the torso. The front three pieces kept moving as I tried to put the back piece on. So I ended up actually using a little bit of glue to hold it together. And here you have most, but not all, of the stormtrooper. What do we do next? Uh, uh, oh right, the head! We gotta put the head on. Moving right along, I really only had problems with two different parts. The gun, because there's so many little pieces, and the helmet, because you're taking a flat bit and making it bowl shaped. Take your time when you're making the helmet, bend it, roll it, and then of course it's time to put the helmet on. Be careful as you're finishing these bits together, because you if you're not careful, you'll end up bending something else when you don't want it to. Watch those fumbly fingers and don't squeeze it too much. 
So here goes the torso. All right, we're moving right along nicely. Almost time to be finished with our model. And one last bit. All we need is a blaster. What good is a is a stormtrooper without his blaster? And I did use a little bit of glue to hold it in place. So here it is. What do you think? I think it came out great. These metal earth kits, every single one that I've done, which is about a dozen of them now, has been just good fun. I really enjoy their models. They come out really interesting. They're a really fun build. I've always been completely happy with these kits. Now one thing that does happen, seems like every time I build one of these kits, there's some pieces left over. In this case, I had two full sheets. They must have made a mistake, added them in. Well, here you have it. We've got stormtroopers on the loose. Pretty cool. Go to the Metal Earth web page and have a look around. I'll give you the address here in a second. And oh no! Stormtroopers on Earth! Oh, we're doomed! Well, I hope you guys have as much fun as I do building these kits. Go look around the Metal Earth web page and I'm sure there's something there that you'll find interesting and have some fun with. See you guys. Come back again sometime.